and then I proceeded to break a spoke off the rear wheel, which was even more of a letdown. So we're back this week for redemption. We're gonna have a good time. Yep. Okay. Well, so we're at the end of the day, but what we did here today was ride the new bike. And I went out, uh, so obviously you guys know what the bike is. Got an FC350, four stroke, back on four strokes for the foreseeable future. I obviously still have the 300. Uh, I mentioned in the previous video that the 250 is gonna go up for sale, um, but four stroke time. So it uh, today was actually the second ride, as I kind of said earlier. The first ride, I just wanted to get a feel for it. I do have GoPro videos, those will eventually go up or be in this video. Um, but yeah, so it was good. Uh, it's nice to actually record this uh, on the second ride instead of the first ride because on the first ride it was more just getting comfortable the suspension is still set up for my 250 so the sag isn't set and i was trying to adjust the clickers even tonight i could still feel it bottoming out if i landed hard enough so i know that i'm still soft i might have to do a spring rate on the suspension but it was cool to to actually have like the second night under my belt so that i could tell you guys that i feel way better on it tonight than i did the first night I rode longer tonight, I rode harder tonight, and uh, had a lot more fun tonight than I did the last time. It was, like the last session I did was 25 minutes. Uh, the session before that was 18 minutes, so that was like, it's pretty long. Um, but good, like the four stroke is sweet. It handles good in the corners. It's nice to not have to clutch it coming out of the corners as much. I'm able to just kind of lug it around like a little bit more like I'm used to doing, I guess, from being on a four stroke. And ultimately, I think it's gonna be really good for me. I know that I'd kind of mentioned that, that like, holy shit, look at the whole back of it is wet. Uh, there's literally water running down it. That's funny. Um, so the the four stroke is going to be really good for me this year like the one thing i kind of had to tell myself a few times tonight while i was riding was that uh i'm i don't need to push it i'm i'm trying to compare myself to the other guys uh but i'm i've only been on a four stroke you know this is my second time and these guys have all been riding you know comparably uh for the last you know since i've been off a of four stroke they've all you know continued to ride them so adapting getting quicker and uh ultimately getting the suspension set up is going to be a huge factor in this bike and uh in you know my success on the four stroke so i know some of the two stroke guys might be kind of sad you know but we uh not being full two stroke anymore still got the 300 still gonna race that that's not leaving the picture we actually got some cool plans for that thing um but overall pumped on the four stroke Okay. Well, this is into the ramp, so you don't want to OJ.
All 25 minutes of it. Ooh, it what? Up there. 25 minutes. I did three backflips. All right, that's that. It's done. That was 25 minutes. That was a lot. Now we go home. Now it's time to get it outside. I'm not gonna give you any more indoor content because it gets boring. I know it's lap after lap after lap. So without further ado, we're gonna wrap this video up. It's been uh, sick. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing the transformation and seeing me out on the four stroke for the first time for a many of you. And uh, here's to more, you know, riding and racing that's gonna be coming this summer. So if you aren't, subscribe to Jet Boyco, subscribe to the Dirt Bike Lifestyle. We got plenty of content coming. Everything's getting leveled up and uh, we're you guys are just along for the ride. So without further ado, thank you. We'll see you guys in the next one.